Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I do realize I've been gone for some time. Um, probably a good few months. I really don't know when the last time I made a video. But y'all, it's been very hard for me these last few, well, ever since April, honestly. I've been having a lot of trouble um, mentally and physically. And so I've been trying to like take a, like a break i don't want to like all my videos to be about health and like sadness and everything but like i just feel like mentally i'm not in a good place um i'm trying not to cry on camera but let me just give y'all the backstory of, of like when this all started and what happened and what's going on now so in april i had trouble breathing and i called the ambulance and when the ambulance came so if I keep looking up, <clears throat> but in April, I had an asthma attack. I don't really like talking about it because I started freaking out a little bit, but I had an asthma attack in April. I called the ambulance. The ambulance came. I was alone. Um, nobody was home with me. Um, so when the ambulance came, I let them know that my heart rate was already in the 150s. Um, so I couldn't have a buterol. And um, she told me her response was, we're not caring about your um, heart rate at the time. <clears throat> well, I told them that my heart rate would go up to 180s if I take a beat all right now. Because it was already pretty high. And she said, we're not caring about our heart, your heart rate right now. We're more so caring about your breathing. Um, the breathing is more important than the heart rate. So they proceeded to give me a beat all steroids, and Benadryl. So as soon as she was shooting the Benadryl in my arm, I could feel myself passing out. I could feel myself um, becoming faint. So immediately I let her know like, hey, something's not right, something's wrong, I don't feel right. And she's like, calm down, um, your heart rate's way too high. Um, so when she said that, I snatched the breathing treatment off my face. And I'm like, I don't feel right, something's wrong. And so at this point, I'm feeling like how I usually feel when I end up on life support or ECMO. Um, this is how it starts. I start feeling myself pass out, then next thing you know, I wake up from life support. So I'm feeling myself pass out. She's tapping my arm like, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Have you ever had any medicine to restart your heart, um, to stop your heart and restart it? Now, I'm hearing them, but I'm also passing. I'm like, I'm in and out, and they sound far away. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying to God, like, God, please don't let me die. Like, I'm feeling like I'm dying, you guys. At this point, she's like, um, calm, take deep breaths, take deep breaths. Your heart rate's too high. Then eventually she told me my heart was going down to 173. So my heart rate had went all the way up to 180. So my heart rate had went up to like 180 something. I was like 189 and um, I was passing out. And basically she was saying I was almost into cardiac arrest because my heart was too high and they wanted to restart my heart. But like I said, I was passing and I was going in and out. of like I felt myself going in and out. Of, like I'm at the verge of passing out and I'm praying like, God, please, I don't want any of my life support anymore, please. So eventually I was able to calm myself down and breathe and take deep breaths and all that. But ever since that day, you guys, I've been having panic attacks every day, almost every day. Um, nightmares about what happened. Um, just just a lot of, I'm always feeling scared and like something bad's gonna happen. So I started seeing the psychotherapist, y'all, psychiatrist, whatever you wanna call it. They call it psychotherapy. Um, but. It hasn't really been helping as of now yet, but I'm trying my best. So this might be a better angle, but I am trying my best, you guys. Um, it was just a very scary event for me, so I've just been scared. Like, I'm scared of being alone when I'm in loud places like uh, restaurants. I'm even more scared because too much noise. Um, I then recently, for my boyfriend's birthday, um, I tried to do a birthday party for him, and I went grocery shopping for all the things that I needed, because we're going to do, like, cook really big, like, seafood and all that. And, um, at the store, I almost passed out, because my heart rate went up way too high. Went home, my heart rate said 190, 199 or 198, something like that. And it went down, of course, to 160s, but it didn't stay at 190, but it's just a fear now. Um, I find myself checking my pulse and my heart rate all day, every day, because I'm just scared, you guys. And um, I know that your mind has power, so whatever you believe and whatever you think is going to come to come true. But it's really hard to get that negative and that spirit of fear and anxiety away. 
And so what my doctor thinks, the therapist I see, he thinks that the thing with the ambulance triggered something in my body. Like they say your body keeps the score. So the ambulance ride triggered my body to remember all of the trauma it's been through, all of the intubations, the ECMO, the hospitalizations, all the asthma attacks. And so now my body's in constant flight. Like you have fight or flight um, responses. And right now my body's in constant flight, they said. So I'm always scared and scared, um, panic. When you're panicking, your heart rate goes up to like high. So I've been trying to stay calm. Um, they also think it's POTS syndrome as well. So sometimes my heart be 150s. Like I just had to go to the hospital two days ago because my heart rate was 158. Um, it was actually 183, and I had to call the ambulance again. And that was scary for me because it just reminded me of everything that happened in April. So it's been a struggle mentally, you guys, because I found myself not trying to do anything, not trying to go anywhere, um, trying to stay in bed all day because I'm scared that my heart rate's going to go too high. Um, I don't know. I've just been feeling very scared, very stressed, very tired, and very emotional. <sighs> So I've been in the bed all day, and for the last few months, I've been trying to stay in bed. Like, I don't want to do anything because I'm just, this is anxiety. And when I'm driving, I my heart rate goes up as well. Like, when I was driving my cousin to um, her friends, my heart went up to 180s again. So it's like anxiety and fear and stress. It's just, it's just so much, guys. And like, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. I've been struggling with this since April, so it's been a couple months, and it's still bothering me now. So, so that is why I have not been recording, you guys, because mentally, I'm trying to get my mental mind together. I'm trying to get my body together. Um, I'm trying to get together spiritually. It is so much going on, guys. I am like even when at the, my boyfriend's birthday party, I'm surrounded by family, but the whole time I'm trying to be downstairs alone because I'm scared. Like I'm having anxiety. Heart rate went to one sixty, um, and it's just like I don't know, guys. I'm trying my best to not let this control my life, not let this be my new norm. But ever since that day, it's just I've been having trouble, and like. Um, like, no one can tell me why my heart rate is high. And not even that, you guys. My lung collapsed again as well recently. So it collapsed two days ago. I went to the hospital, and that's when they told me it collapsed again. Um, so it collapsed in February, and it collapsed again. And it collapsed again this month, and we are now in... Um, well, it was the end of May, but today is June 2nd. So, yeah, it was June. It was May 31st when I went to the hospital. But it was May 30th when I found out that my heart was collapsed. Um from a different hospital because I ended up going to two hospitals. So St. Joseph's on the 30th and Johns Creek Emory on the 1st of June. So it's been back-to-back -back hospital visits, you guys, for my heart rate. Um, and it's just so stressful. And I think it's hard for people to understand how I'm feeling mentally um, because it really is like, oh, it's just your anxiety. That's what the doctors are saying. It's your anxiety, it's your anxiety. But it's not even that because... When my heart went to 173 and I had called the ambulance, I was literally laying down watching Kung Fu Panda 3. So I wasn't even doing anything to make me anxious. And it, it still went up high. So so anyways, I'm trying to believe in God for healing. Um, but like even today, nothing's going on. I'm safe. I know I'm safe. But like I'm feeling um, a spirit of fear. And I feel like... Oh, what if this happens? Oh, I know. Or, you know, what if it goes too high again? You know, and having to call the ambulance when you're alone is like a scary thing because, like, you got to repeat your address over and over. You want to make sure you want them to um, get there to you in time. You got, and I'm, I have to put the dogs up. It was just a scary situation um, both times. So April was what really set this off for me. But, yeah. I don't know, guys, but, like, that's what's been going on. That's why I've been gone from my channel. I know that this too shall pass. Um, Just wondering when, because, like, I've been, mentally, I have not been okay since April. Um, And we're now in June, so 
I'm just hoping that what, whatever is going on um, with my heart, with my lungs, with me, um, that I'll be healed. Um, yeah, I can't even give you guys encouragement right now because um, I'm trying to encourage myself. And um, yeah, but anyways, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to upload more, and hopefully it won't be just on health. But right now, you guys are seeing everything Kira, and right now, y'all seeing what's going on with in my life. Um, I'm trying to stay busy and keep my mind from, away from what's going like, on. Like, keep my mind away from how I feel as well. So, yeah. Like, even now, while I'm talking to you guys, I feel the need to um, check my pulse. And which I do all day, every day. And my therapist told me I should, like, limit the amount of times that I check it. Because that could be causing anxiety as well. But I just feel like when I check it and I see there's a low number, it makes me feel better. Um, like, my heart rate. So, I know if I don't have this with me, I start freaking out. Like, yeah. Anyway, so I'm checking my heart rate. And hopefully, it's doing good. But I'm, yeah, it's at 96 right now, so it's good. But I just don't feel good. And I want to stop saying that. Maybe me even saying that is making me feel bad. But Since yeah. you guys seen me last, I've been in the hospital at least, sure. I don't even know how many times. I know it's more than five times. So... Yeah, that's the short update for you guys. I know I'm looking rough. I know I'm not talking about much, but yeah, I'm just right now, I'm at this time period of my life, I'm dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, um, heart trouble. I don't want to say problems, but like high heart rate of like 150 and up, even when I'm at rest, like I'm not doing anything, it'll just go high, it's like all the way up, like 160s. So, and panic attacks, uh, PTSD, all that stuff I've been dealing with for since april since the whole ambulance thing that happened um i know it's over but like it still scares me and i still find myself breaking down or crying about it or crying about just the fear i feel i'm just ready to feel back to normal and i haven't felt normal for months but you know um it will get better i know it will um it's just another thing that i have to overcome and um yeah you guys that's really just all that's going on. I don't want to keep rambling on. But, yeah, guys, um, welcome back, you guys. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And um, hopefully I'll be back to posting soon. I know I've been going a lot, a long time. But, yeah. All right, guys. Bye.